Morena Fano, how you going? Hey, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick video to kind of update you on everything that's going to be happening around the school because we're not far off starting. So standing in front of the redevelopment sign uh, is one thing, but I thought what I'd do is take you on a quick tour around the school uh, and show you all the different things and all the different parts that are going to be changing over the next coming probably 12 to 18 months. So we've got a bit of work to go. So come on, I'll take you around the uh, take you around the school and show you what's going to happen. So before we do take off on the trip uh, around the school, I think it's important to note that uh, yeah, where did all this money come from? And, and how did all this happen for our school? So over the last five or six years, you would have known that Pillins Point has grown significantly. So in the 2017 budget, we had uh, then Minister of the time, Nikki Kay, came to school and uh, Pillins Point, uh, through its growth around the community, was awarded $5 million in capital growth. So all the money that's been spent on the school is not actually the school's money, it's the ministry's. Uh, it's not the school's project, it's the ministry's project. Essentially the best way it's been described to me and the way I describe it to people is that uh, we're like a leaseholder in a commercial building. You know, we might get to choose the colours, we might get to choose the carpet, but essentially the buildings belong to the Ministry of Education, the site belongs to them, so it's it's their project that, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky enough to be included and to be part of the project as we are the, the current leaseholders of the land sitting here alongside them. So here we are in front of what was the old car park area, so I'll come in here and we'll explain what's going to happen through uh, and through these gates. So this is where we'll be building a six classroom teaching block. So what's happening at the moment, they're just putting in the fencing and the retaining for the neighbours uh, to make sure the site is safe and secure for them. Uh, and then within the next uh, two to three weeks, they'll start some of the preparation work. There's some pretty significant underground works that need to be sorted out first. I was waiting for that truck to go past. Yeah, so some pretty significant underground work that needs to be sorted out before we can actually uh, get into establishing uh, the actual building. So this is going to be six classrooms, uh, three classrooms, uh, or three spaces of two, uh, working through uh, probably definitely going to be the um, mower team. So the uh, tentative construction time for the classroom block behind us is probably uh, February, March next year is, is uh, when they've said to us that the building will be ready and open, that we can move kids in. So we've got uh, you know six months of this year and then over Christmas and you know all going to plan. Uh, we should be in there by you know middle of term one uh, at the latest, uh, beginning of term two next year. So. Uh, that's the plan and time frames for the big six classroom block behind me. So turning around, so what happens when the uh, six classroom block is completed? The mower kids will move out of the block behind me, which is known as B block, uh, rooms one through five. So they'll vacate those buildings uh, and go into, into the new building. And then the builders will move from the new building into the refurbishment of uh, the blocks behind me. So I'll go and explain what's gonna happen in through here. So as we move along the classrooms, that's room one and two there, or room it's komatahi as we call it at the moment. Uh, room three, four and five. So what happens is room three here, actually uh, stops becoming a classroom and becomes a big thoroughfare to allow the kids to walk from what will be the new building. So there'll be you know, up to 180 kids out there and we need to funnel the kids uh, through the building somehow. So what I'll do is I've got some pretty cool uh, footage from the architect that I will show you what this space will look like in the video. In. So standing in rooms one and two uh, gives you a good idea of kind of what's actually going to happen. So uh, room one and two is a double space at the moment and that's what's going to happen for room one and two and rooms four and five. They'll become double teaching space. So the full building gets a complete refurb. So all the classic 1970s, 1980s look of these classrooms uh, will, will completely change um, but will be Two, two teaching spaces in one, uh, and nice big spaces, includes breakouts. Um, they shift and alter the uh, 
the cloak bays, toilets remain, toilets stay. Um, but yeah, they're basically the walls that's right in front of us there all get completely opened up to make these uh, really big, spacious teaching spaces for our tamari. So standing on the other side of room three on the court here, um, what I'm doing is pointing the camera direct through room three. Uh, and I don't know if we can sneak in, you can kind of see the building site through the room. Um, so that will mean the kids will come straight through here and you kind of get the sense that you know, we kind of go through the heart of the school uh, and out to the field. So we kind of have a nice big corridor that runs right through the middle of the school, uh, connecting new buildings through the buildings uh, out to the field past the Kiwi and Tui block. So one of the other key areas that's uh, going to get renovated is uh, what was the really old library or it's been called the hub. It's been called many, many, many things, this space that I'm standing in now. So you see it's all empty. It's actually gonna be one of the first places that they renovate uh, for us for a couple of reasons. Um, one, there's gonna be a teaching space within here out the back that I'll go and show you. And number two, our staff has grown from a staff of about 26 when I arrived nine years ago uh, to a staff of about 55 on site uh, if we don't include relievers or any external. So the current staff room we have is just not big enough. So I will walk you through uh, this resource uh, space and explain what's going to happen. So the space we're standing in is going to be the staff room. So uh, basically this all gets converted. Um, we have a kitchen uh, facility coming in down this end for the staff uh, and around this corner over here gets walled off, the windows get uh, changed completely and that becomes the toilet area for the staff. Um, as we move through these doors in here, um, we move into what will be uh, the staff resource room. Uh, we have a couple of offices going in that space there. The resource sliding storage comes here, photocopiers, etc., etc. Uh, where you can see this wall is actually where the classroom uh, space will come out. So if we walk through this door, imagine this wall is gone. Uh, we imagine a cupboard around the server. We imagine all the resource room uh, stuff gone. And then actually through into, uh, in behind this wall here, and in behind the other wall, in behind there, uh, also gets removed. So this becomes one big uh, classroom. That will actually be our KLC roll growth classroom as that keeps them nicely connected, as you can see out through this window. Uh, keeps everybody nicely connected uh, together. So this space is actually due to start being renovated uh, in about a fortnight's time. Uh, and it's turned around quite quickly. We get, uh, we're aiming to be in here the first week of uh, term three. With COVID and stuff like that, I think we'll miss it by maybe a week or so. But the builders will work with us to do the best that they can. Okay, so in the current uh, office area at the moment, we have a few little minor changes that occur in here. So uh, this is our sick bay currently for 530 kids. Yep, and I can stop now because that's the entire cupboard. So we're getting a slightly bigger sick bay. What happens is they're taking uh, two of the toilets out of here because we're getting more toilets over the other side and we increase the size of uh, our sick bay. Now moving into the bottom of our current staff room, uh, this is actually going to become our open plan office. Uh, we, we literally don't have enough space uh, and we've got a lot of our leadership team scattered around the school. So what this space does is literally stays the same, just take all the staff room stuff out, move some desks in and we have an open plan learning office. Um, we get a door kind of goes through there uh, to go into uh, the current office that Sheree and Sarah share. Uh, and that's the, about the extent of the uh, the few minor changes for our admin area. So the last step of the project is actually the removal of these classrooms that were only scheduled to be where they are now for 12 months when we built uh, the Kiwi and Tui building. I think we're coming up about four and a half, nearly five years later, they're still there. So that, that's the last step is to actually remove those classrooms off the site so we'll get a bit of land back. You'll see a couple of cabins around the place. Um, because the central space that I just explained is being renovated with our offices, we've just run out a bit of a space. So we've had to bring the odd cabin on to provide some office space. So standing around by the front of the hall, actually, you would have seen probably one of the cabins that we've got here and you would have seen a random caravan 
uh, that's appeared in the last few days. Actually, that's Lorna's caravan. Lorna's going to work out of her caravan for the next eight weeks as her office uh, space inside uh, Block C and L, we call it, has been renovated. So, no, we haven't got gypsies coming to stay on site. We're just using every possible space and facility that we can in the next little while while all our building work is done. So there you go, that's the full tour of the school. Uh, the things that are happening, as I said at the start, you know, we're looking at anywhere between 12 to 18 months worth of work, if not a little bit longer. So quite a bit of work to be done around the place, but at the end of the day, when it's all done, it's gonna be pretty exciting for our school. So there you go, any questions, anything further you'd like to know, just sing out, we'd be happy to uh, explain it in more detail if we need to. Thanks team, have a lovely day.